This conference yeah. will now this conference will now be recorded. <laughs> so I'm a little bit banged up for lunch. So the, <laughs> we're running for capital improvement projects. We've been running at a deficit or non-existent for seven years. And we're looking at it again. And who knew we were going to get hit with a half a million bucks for these tanks? What else is out there we're going to get hit with? You know what I mean? Sure. And we're not prepared for that. And not having money in the bank for a rainy day is stupid. That's something we ran it before. And it was and the, the answer always was we don't have the money. We don't have the money. You can't run a business like that. Well, and, you know, in defense of that board, they lost a million dollars a year of revenue. Yeah. And they had to react. And they one what they one of their options was to increase the assessments four hundred and fifty dollars yeah. per person right per home and i mean that was an impossible task they yeah but they also spent two million on the mbi and that, that was, was before crap. everything went yeah. to, I, I don't know what the yeah, that pop, that that pop that grown at them. and yes we're, we're trying to avoid that right but that's what i'm saying by doing this we're starting we're not waiting anymore. We're right. waiting for the sale. Right? Developers cost us over three point two million dollars. Okay, us, us, three point two million, and it didn't come from the apple tree. It was a loss to mm -hmm. us, and there's nothing you could do about it. That's why I'm watching Lindsay so much. There was nothing you could do about it. We need to protect ourselves from it happening again. Sure. So but we said that was the big thing. Where are you going to take the twenty-five thousand dollar a year uh, debt payment or interest? Uh, where well, are you going to take it from? The payment on without the not raising prospects. No, uh, you, you have enough flexibility to pay the uh, the, the debt payment. Yeah, yeah twenty-five thousand dollars. I'm, I'm asking for oh, one year. For one year. Three hundred and uh, two hundred thirty-four thousand is the first year uh, in twenty-three that you. Yeah. I'm just talking about the interest. Oh, just 25, the interest? Just the interest. The difference um, is 25000 20, 21000 is yeah. the most expensive. Yeah. You said 129 is a total. No, for the whole five years. Oh, yeah, there's two. Get, no, you're get. right. You're, it's it's uh, over five years. The first year would be uh, 42005 Okay, so where does that money come from? That is out of the debt fee. That I mentioned the two hundred and thirty four thousand. Yeah, well what we, you gotta we, we don't have a debt payment now. Where's it coming from? Well it'll be one of your discretionary funds that you'll have to redirect it. But it's still forty grand going to the bank. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but what you're what are you saying? He doesn't like paying interest. You don't, don't like, like paying interest. interest. No, I'd rather I'd rather but raise How are you gonna start fixing things? I'd rather raise the session. <laughs> That's yeah, raise the session. In other words, by what? I don't know. That's well, what we're here for. But that's what I'm saying. Why? Why pay the bank? Why don't you raise assessments? We're paying ourselves. I, I, I just don't. I don't like banks. Don't we like all agreed to give everybody three hundred grand, three hundred dollars a piece back. Nobody cared. If we got it all back, that's two hundred fifty thousand. Right there, boom. And that puts us at where we need to be. I mean, we all voted for it. Nobody even cared. That we did that. My problem is usually you raise the assessments, that's where it's going to stay. That's a permanent thing. All I'm saying is if we do this, this is temporary for a year, by then either this closes or it doesn't, then we raise assessments in the cabinet. But you can't tell me we're going to raise assessments and then give them back. Look what it took to do it the first time. Yeah, we got we we broke we, we got rid of our debt. That's what caused us to get rid of the assessments. We had no debt. No, but so why go no back to that? No one was looking forward to giving back those assessments. We would have kept them had it not been pushed to give it back. Yeah, and then we would have been working on then we would have been working on capital projects if we had that extra three hundred thousand. Right. So it's that's true. It's, it's give or but take. But we didn't get that money for that reason. Right now you're saying raise the assessments for capital improvements. Well, that's why you're getting the money. But when you said raise those assessments to pay off the debt, that's what we did. We don't keep it. That was my argument. I'm just saying, either way, 
bottom line, no, we have to pay the money to somebody. Somebody's going to have to pay the money someplace. But the loan puts an extra 20, over five years, puts an extra $25,000 a year debt on the community. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but but everybody's taxes still got paid. Right? Everybody's not at the Lord, stays the same. Whereas if we don't do the law and we increase the assessment, everybody's taxes go back up to where they were. Want to know what the most popular one is? It ain't the taxes going back up. But you're right, I'm with you. Something has to pay for capital improvements that have been put off too long. One of those two things are our choice. That's exactly right. Yeah, I'm just asking for one year. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I agree. I think we do the loan for at least a year and see where we go. We should be in a totally different location financially in a year from now than we are right now. I mean, I agree. We they still we're still in a different situation in August. Well, so then, but you, is there, but you, you can't. No, you can't. What happens if it if all it doesn't. It falls through. Once, once, once you get once you get the money, how's it going to fall through? No, no, no. no. But I'm I'm saying, you don't know that now. No, no. But I'm saying then you pay the loan off. Yeah, but we got to do the budget now. Hand. You can't wait for that money to come in. I'm not saying to wait for it. I'm just... The problem is capital. This book from last May a year ago. They experts tell us then and then those dollars, we were looking at about seven million bucks. Since then, it's easily gone up two million bucks. It went up a million bucks in the last two months. So easily. Okay, so that number doesn't stay fixed. And we're not doing it. We're not doing it. So now it's nine million. And we're not doing it. We gotta do it. That's the problem. We're not doing it. <clears throat> so we got to do it. What if we tell Truckee, no, we changed our mind. We're not going to do the road again. That's, it's been the money. Right? It's been the money. No, we can't, the let's, not, let's not skew that. We tell Truckee we're going to do it. We're going to. Right. Because right now we have money to do it. Right. That's it right. Isn't, we think we're going to do it. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Yeah, but I'm saying it's exactly. always been the money 2014. That's how long you've been waiting. Let's do the math 2014, 2022. Ah, we're not doing it. I'll make the motion. I move that we go ahead and um, get the loan for $1 million. I second. I that. second. I second. Speech of Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Discussion now. The, yes. And Russ had mentioned uh, August, we get this money, pay it off, yeah. get rid of it. I don't know if you could pay it off. That's two months after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Know, but it might be a year. No, I'm saying a year. I know, think it's going to have to be a year. If the banker comes <laughs> back and says that uh, you can't pay it off earlier than I did, a year, yeah. I think so it's going to cost us more to get in my motion when we pay it. So. Yeah, we'll, yeah. It, it, we can Just decide so. that when the time yeah. comes. Okay. I say we get it, mm -hmm. we use it, we address the things that need addressing right away, mm -hmm. like this flooding problem, the road paved, those things, we address them with that money. The tank. Right. And, the, the and we worry about paying it off yeah. later. And I think the community yeah. needs to understand this is a like a fix for a year. Exactly. If, if the other doesn't happen, assessments are going up. Yeah. Right. But we're trying to keep assessments, taxes so, from going yeah. up. Mm -hmm. All right. So come on. any yeah, we'll discussion? We'll need to reassess that. I I really don't think you're going to have to increase your assessments if that. Yeah, but that's that's. that's a, I'm just so that's biding time. Let, let's, uh, yeah, I'm biding time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, and this does do that, and mm -hmm. you can afford the assessment. You know, payment, right. so we all agree we need to help these things, yeah. help these people get this stuff fixed. So the Start. procedure, they're going to make a loan commitment, and if the uh, if we have to sign something, Terry will sign, sign. It. sign, and then we'll try and bring something back to the next meeting yeah. if 
we can delay that long. I, you know, I don't know I don't what the process that. is. Did you look at a loan interest a municipal yeah, bond? That's that's bond gonna you're gonna have to pay cost of issuance. Yeah, bond and you don't want to do that. Okay. I mean, that's good. The cost of issuance, even if we go to a bank and take a loan that is a bond, really, anything over five years is a bond. Right. And uh, I, I'm sure you got enough money. Yeah, you don't want to do that. that. You yeah, definitely you don't, don't want to do that. that. This was the best financial package. I have a question. When yeah. Irma came through off the top of your head, I don't expect you to know this. Do you know what it cost the district when Irma went through? and how long the payback was from FEMA? Uh, it cost the district about, I wanna say 90,000. And uh, it took us- Six months? Oh, no. A year? No, probably two years. Yeah, two years. Yeah. yeah. And that was one storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a surprise. There's a great example. Yeah. Yeah, so that cost us 90,000, the loan's gonna cost us 40. First year, yeah. Well, so, I'm voting no. So you, you a lot of people that <laughs> got hit, a lot of communities got hit with Irma, didn't get FEMA funds, right? And I had to be a pest for two, almost three years uh, to get you guys the funds. Yeah. Cold questions. Yeah. All right. So we're done. Yep. Yeah. Up for a vote now. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 No. Aye. Aye. That's four ayes, one nay. Okay. We'll push that through. Um, the budget, now we've got a resolution in there. If you're okay with going with the budget, no increase. And this is your last chance before June 15th to increase if you want, but no increase. And you can make changes in the expenses and we'll put the uh, the loan proceeds in it, or the loan payment in it uh, in the budget. We'll show uh, loan proceeds as far as another revenue source. But other than those two changes, is the budget okay? Yeah, I have one one thing. Yes. So I'm looking at this. Which right. fund? I have in the general fund a hundred thousand. Now yes. that other list you were talking about. It's 500, 175. Yeah, so yeah that, that list, that Kevin Projects list that's in your book, is it included so in not the budget? book. There were four items listed in a handout you gave. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. that was in the book, uh, your agenda book. Yeah, so any, any isn't part of that what we're budgeting yes, for here? Yes, but none okay. of that's in there. We'll have to put that in there, and then we'll show the revenue from the bond issue. All right, so what are these capital projects? Those were just, I was just balancing your budget. All right, so technically. There was no, nothing that was specifically identified. Right, but technically these items could be towards those items. Some of them. Okay. The ones that are clearly general big. fund operations, yes. yes. Okay. And uh, well, Stella and is ours. If we pay for it with this year's funds, we would not be included in next year's budget? Uh, we'll put some in. Okay, probably put something because you don't know for sure when that date's coming. Yeah. yeah, the general fund would be Stella Maris North and the stormwater. And then the utility would be the uh, the new tank and the repairs of the existing tank. Do you have an idea on the timeline for those tanks? David would also me. Any luck with the fire department? Then? No, no, and I've done some quick calculations, but I need to follow up. <laughs> but I want to say two months, and hopefully oh, we got some bids back. That's for you. Pretty, no, those, that's it. Yeah, so construction is going to be a little bit longer. I get, I get a question in the budget. Why don't we use real numbers for legal and engineering uh, instead of just putting the same numbers? You know what they are. You tell me which well, one. Why don't we use history? Well, is well, history going to repeat itself? Well, it has so far, in the last two years. Well, this year. All right. Well, it's going to be more this year. Yeah. The way it works for us is, uh, let's say where that item is, you you have a total um, for that category it's in, and usually what happens because it's unpredictable, if this line goes up, you have to reserve on other lines as long as you don't go over budget, and we haven't gone over budget. 
That's because we haven't done any uh, capital improvements. That's why we have no capital budget. improvements are not in that area. It's operations or administrative. No, I mean, you, then, you, if you want to increase or decrease that, that's yeah. I think, fine. Should, I, think you should, I think you should double them at least. Okay. Well, the twelve thousand is actually twenty four thousand. Yeah, I know. both okay. funds. Okay. But because so, you already got them broken down like that, you've already sure. got them broken into two funds, right? Yeah. Yeah. So go with uh, so you know actual this year's we're already at 14, 14 set for engine for no for engineering we're already at our total budget October through February for for um, legal so just double them. okay use the right. numbers yeah you got to take it from someplace Thank else right. hopefully things will get better <laughs> right. We spend less, great. Okay, anything else? That's what are you doing, legal and engineering? Legal and engineering and both funds will be doubled. Okay. Right. Now that doesn't mean you're gonna spend it, but no. right. hopefully. Yeah. Well, I think so, the way we're going. <laughs> anything else? You want a, a motion on resolution 2206? Yes. So moved. I second. Uh, the, uh, well, uh, go ahead. I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear the motion. To approve resolution 2023, uh, setting okay. a public hearing and approving a tentative budget. Now, the right. what you're restricting yourself, you cannot increase right. after this resolution is adopted. We have 60 days. To get the the number straightened around right. within the framework you've just given us here, and then that will be sent to the county, and then we'll publish it all, the, everything like that. Uh, I believe Tony, uh, the, the increases are not that much, but you think we're still going to have to do a mail notice? On yeah, if you increase by one cent, you need to do the ad in the paper and mail. Notice. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think he was saying it was because of the car that it was, uh, or not the car, it's uh, Russ. Russ felt that we had to do a we're mail gonna, notice. We're not talking Jesse, we're talking O&M. Oh, O&M, oh, either or, oh, yeah. Yeah. both of them are O&M, I'm sorry. Yeah, O&M, yes, you have to increase by one penny per. Yeah, I'm, it's probably easier to do it than Say figuring out yeah. who is and who isn't. Yes, let's just do it. Yeah. So uh, we'll make those changes. We're going to incorporate, I'll get with David and get a realistic schedule on when a lot of those capital projects you want done this year, when they'll be put in, and then we'll also put the revenue. Okay? Uh, let's see, the motion uh, Terry second is, was it you? Yeah. Yes. I made the motion. He made the motion, I second. And you have uh, four yeas, one nay. Yes. So, and this will set the public hearing for your no, August no, meeting. No, no, uh, they no. Didn't want that in the, no. Motion before. the motion to set the public hearing, right. 2206. It's also, right. It's also approving a tentative budget. budget. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. So, I mean, Russ voted. I know you voted against that. So, yeah. no, I voted not the loan. No, I voted against the loan. That's what I'm saying. Right. So, oh, we're doing we it have on this a, budget. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't voted. We haven't on, voted on, on 2206 budget. yet. We were voting Which is to set the public hearing. Right. right. 2206 sets the public hearing. Right. Correct. But it also approves the tentative budget. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, but, okay. but he, Terry said it was 4 1. I didn't I, I you voted against the tentative. No. Well, no, yeah, we yeah. we he we thought we were voting on the loan. Yeah, we haven't oh, voted on it. We haven't so voted on that. We were voting on the tentative budget. So. Right. Uh, I had you voted on the loan. We voted on the loan. We voted on the, on the loan. loan. It was four to one. Four to one. Right. Right. Now we have a new, uh, new on resolution. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we need to vote on. Yeah. <laughs> I just said one. You you say he's going to put together two uh, CIP. Yeah. Two CIP. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we have to vote on that somewhere along the line that we're actually going to do sure. that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. This is only the budget. Right. Just the budget. Yeah. Right. Well, that the money's there in case we do approve it. And okay. set up. Yeah. And yeah. Whatever's in the budget, if it requires board approval, you're still going to get that. Yeah. You're not approving anything other than allocating funds. Okay. For a potential expenditure. Okay. Let's like giving your wife the signature on the check. <laughs> okay, we're all set. We need to vote on it. Yes. Yeah, we need to vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Michelle? Michelle? Aye. 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 <laughs> the, uh, let's see. Uh, that will take us to the public records procedure. A couple months ago, I gave you a copy of a procedure that we follow, uh, cleaned it up a little bit as far as requiring and how quick everything is within. Now, the one thing that uh, we're going to uh, still be going to bless it, but uh, charges, and we can start them for anything within a reasonable time for expenses that we incur to you know like having somebody watch while they go through the records or whatever mm -hmm. uh if it's it, it start the clock starts ticking at 15 minutes and anything over 15 minutes then they're charged for that's the procedure that uh, that's really the only change everything else is what we currently follow we've got a pretty extensive policy uh that we have always followed as far as uh, Request. Do so you have this had, is a little easier? I had this before, but somebody walks in cold charges. Do you have a menu of charges or like a like a, a chart that, that explains how you charge for what service or anything? The, the statute yeah. outlines the model charge right. Oh, the state yeah. statute. Right. right. So what Tim was talking about, yeah. the statute also says. If the custodian can charge right, actual cost expenses for extensive, uh, up to, I mean, sort of parable, yeah, yeah. Parable, supervisory costs associated with the request, right? And that includes the full labor group. And there are some there's some guidance out there that says more than 15 minutes would qualify. Every jurisdiction is different as to what they qualify. And once again, I'm paraphrasing. Right. Right. But otherwise, 119 lists what the allowable charges are, plus this uh, provision for extraordinary. Supervisor of clerical problem. Again, that may not be extraordinary, it may not be in word, but it's in the statute. Okay. Yeah, double check the statute. Again, I'm just okay. So, uh, anyhow, that, that's the policy that, uh, like I say, I distributed a uh, while ago. And I, mean, I just haven't had the that. opportunity to discuss it. Yeah, I'll just double check that 50 minutes. I think it's still kosher in the time frame. But I have to that and it's not 15 minutes uh, based on my time. Yeah. It's, you know, one of our lower paid employees. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Then we have the uh, financial report. Any questions? Uh, let me just... When I have a budget number from that. Yeah. Uh, uh, looking at the the overall uh, cost to date and to finish out the year, the uh, between the two funds, we're we're under budget. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully we'll stay that way. We're in the money. We're in the money. <laughs> yeah. So and we're under budget probably about twenty percent. So that's good. That's good. Would need a uh, motion to accept your the financials for audit. For yeah, audit. For audit. Yeah. All you know, time. I use that in all of our districts. <laughs> well, it's true. That's yeah, what I do. I'll yeah. make that motion. I, I make a motion to accept the financials for audit. Let Michelle. Uh, okay. Sam seconds it. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The uh, security. One little sorry question. Mm -hmm. Uh, not a question, this point. Um, our friends on next door don't think we audit. Yeah, we're not transparent. Oh, yeah. We're not transparent yeah. enough 
to send and to have an audit. We should have one every year. We do. So we do. We do. I know we do. Yeah. Surprise, we have one every year. Yeah. The question, it's not really a question. The 2021 audit budget, is it, I don't believe it's on. Because it has been completed. Has been. Uh, that's what I wanted to know. Had it been completed? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay, good. It should be, they have to have it done Somewhere by the June, in, end of June is the yeah. deadline. So I just want to make sure, but we, I, I want to point out that next door thinks we don't, we just we kind don't of have wing, an audit. It, we wing it here and nobody's looking at our yeah. financials. Yeah. And we, uh, when, when we close out the fiscal year in October, uh, we wait till November to make sure we got all the bills in. And then we put together an audit packet that we send to the auditors and they sit on it for several months. And then they will send us a list of the things that they want. Most of it we've already sent them because yeah. it doesn't change much. And then, uh, you know, they, they send us a draft audit and we review it, and, you know, and they'll give the, they used to give, we, we haven't had a request for a change, uh, any reconciliation. So any, you know, changes in line items. So anyhow, it, it, you might have it for the next meeting. Well, that's fine. I just, you know, I wasn't sure. The whole point was I was taken. Yeah. Was about next door and not thinking that we actually have it. It has to be audited it. by law. Right? Yes, yes. Every yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. year. It's public record. Yes. yes. Do we do the same audit company every year or do we use a different one? Change it up? Uh, we usually issue on a three year contract. Yeah. Uh, it's, do we use the same one? I mean, uh, for next year, if you guys want to change, we can get bids. Yeah. You got to go through a bidding process. You can't just hide. Yeah. And that's certified public account. Yeah, how much does it cost? Uh, about five thousand. Well, about eight thousand. Yeah. We're worth it. That's good. I just think you know, change it up a little we bit. We want to make sure we're transparent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys are a difficult audit because of the utility fund. Yeah. So now we do have one more item. The I website. Did, uh, the website in the website, the issue, uh, Ms. Free has raised the question and and. Um, I get that question a lot. The problem is, it's uh, anything you put on the website has to be ADA compliant. In your packet, anything with columns, numbers, etc., that can't. Chris's report, you get that in your in your packet, that can't be converted to an ADA compliant document. It has to be readable by uh, Microsoft is the most typical software that will, you know, press the little button and it reads it to you. Uh, the format has to be in HTML. We went to a lot of expense to make your website HTML uh, formatted and uh, it's, it's WordPress, which we didn't know anything about until they turned everything over to us. But uh, that's that's just, you can't, I mean, as your web manager, we're not going to put something out that's not ADA compliant because uh, we're live. But if you guys want to tell us to do it, no. now you're live. It's suicide. Uh, in, in, along with uh, key web, people think it's crutches and wheelchairs. It's not. It's a completely different thing. And it's, it's ADA, it's federal, it's hardball. They don't play. They'll find your eyes out of your head. And they're nasty about it. We have a wedding business in Key West. I said, ADA, it cost us a ton to convert our website for weddings to be ADA compliant. The whole island of Key West, it was millions of dollars. It went through like wildfire. And nobody understood it. It's a serious thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At that point, I don't know if this district was one of those that was sued. Our lady on East Coast of Florida, Florida yeah. a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, they were cottage industry. Yeah, it became, it, it's died now, not yeah. since then, but it was. And in response to the question about the the um, you know, idea about putting the agenda online, that's not required by statute. The legislature removed that off the top. We require, I mean, the agenda has to be under, but not the backup material. And what a lot of organizations do, if they can do it, but it takes a, another software, mm -hmm. is hyperlinks the document. I mean, you can get the agenda that I can link to the document, but again, it all has to be ADA. ADA. So, yeah. But again, the, agenda, the agenda gets published, but the fact that the children not have to be. 
the uh, when you guys were sued, uh, and she through her attorney uh, over on the East Coast and the fail. Yeah, and the fail, and the fail. That's right. And uh, so we fought it, and uh, they didn't push back. So you guys basically got off without paying a fine, but yeah, several no opportunities question. did. And then the board at that time said, let's get 88 fine. And we put together, as opposed to this, I think these guys are, are uh, crooks that a lot of communities are using. They, they might have even created the situation. Sure. But uh, we, uh, we provide you a ADA website. Uh, people are trained on it. And we used a professional company to create it. So what is the answer to Williams' question. No. So we won't put it on the website. Can't do it. Okay. Right. Now, and all anyone has to do, and uh, Jeff Jansen's on the phone, and she knows, uh, just send us an email. And right. we'll send you a packet. It, the yeah. packet's it's public it's information. Carol Williams still on? No, it was uh, yeah. Mrs. Reed that raised it, I thought. No, yeah, wasn't Ms. it Carol Reed. Williams? No, Ms. Reed. Not Reed. 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 Oh. Is she on? No. No. Okay. No, but uh, all anyone has to do is ask, and we'll send them a a copy of the agenda packet. Okay. All right. So now we're on to the old manager report. The uh, it's two o'clock. You want to just ask me questions on it? I I want to say something, Cal, and. Uh, this stuff isn't getting done in a timely fashion, and I don't know who it's up to, but the base on the sign that they just did hasn't been painted, and the street lights that Michelle asked about at Orchard Cove, it's been four months, and they haven't been power washed. It's at May 31st. And uh, I don't know who it is. It's Chris. Chris yeah, is doing it. He's just busy, and, and uh, the light pole cleaning is to be completed by the end of the month. Okay. And uh, the the uh, base the painting of the base is uh, he can't get to it till next month. Okay, but he's got it scheduled. Okay. Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. So I, you know, he's uh, he was, he's got one employee that does it all, and you know, it's uh, he's cheap. He does good work. I hate to say it's cheap. It's not inexpensive. It's inexpensive, but he does do good work. We just want to stand up front. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it is hard to get contractors down here. It's, you know, it's, you guys are kind of out of the way. And, and you say, the words, yeah, we're finding that out. Yeah. You yeah. say the words, we're in Port of the Islands. They go, where's that? Everybody thinks Isles are pretty. Yeah. Where are you at the Isles? Yeah. No, no. Uh, we're the redheaded stepchild. Exactly. So uh, the the painting of the base is uh, it'll be next month. I'll tell them to move it up to early next month. And uh, light bulb cleaning, I said in the May. And then the uh, we've got on the agenda the Swanway Union Road. Uh, you got a proposal in for that stop sign. Yeah. It looks like it's two stop signs. It is. It's two stop signs. Yeah, it is. And it also includes one leaving. Yeah. Looks like it includes the paving too. Yeah, they'll repair the repair the paving, put stop cars in. Uh it'll be done nice. When? Uh as soon as you approve the contract. Yeah. Do that. The yeah. stop signs are don't we have stop signs in that old building back there with some street yeah. signs? And I bet you that's really gonna be those special stuff. Uh, well, Especially I mean, you can put up uh, those old, these, these are nice signs. I, I mean, right. if you want to put up the old ones, we probably have some. They're better. Water last. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just for Orchid Cove. We'll just yeah, put it in front of the fence. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. There's There's the fence. Put the green ones out. Yeah. Now, what were you saying about those aerators there, Bob? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. We're not there yet. Yeah. 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 We're not on Don't forget it. Yeah. But while we're on field maintenance support for next month if we would to glom out of the uh the painting for newport k i uh, mean newport drive and 
drawn that out of the uh, the ones that we had for the paintings and just take that out yeah. and let us approve that so we can get that yeah. done. The West Side. Take the West Side, <laughs> take the West Side story. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a movie. Yeah, but now do we have agreement on the east side? No. Oh, no, so take both of them out. No, just take out the just take out the Newport Drive one, think. and we can go ahead and approve oh, okay. that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and approve it not to exceed? I, I don't remember what the permit is either. It wasn't very much. But yeah. Uh, oh, you had a bid on it. Yeah. 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 The bid. So yeah. If you go back to that bid. And, that's what I'm saying. We just bring yeah. it to the meeting next month. And then, yeah, okay. And then we get it done. All right. Anything else in the report? If you have something that uh, I, I know that everyone's probably hungry, so I don't it's think two that way. In. So uh, just uh, either give me an email, a call, whatever. Cal, we've got the 230 before this. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, we ain't there yet. We're not there yet. More PC drill sergeant. You still got a pretty lengthy agenda. <laughs> I appreciate uh, the push. <laughs> you're not eating while you're listening, are you? Of course she is. <laughs> that's, that's what she's Would doing. never dream of it. Would never dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the uh, stop signs? Are we. That's uh, that up yet? Up. All right. I thought we were there. Uh, maybe, did I just uh, fly? We were there and we backed up. Uh, where was that? It's under LCC Orchid Code light bulb cleaning. Okay, right below there. Yeah, so, so you've got the uh, proposal. What did I do with that? Um, the package. It's in the extra package. It's in the extra package. I think it's like twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, twenty seven fifty. Twenty seven fifty. Um, so we're giving you the advanced warning stop sign. We're not just getting a regular. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No you wonder. The advanced warning. Yeah. 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 Do you know if they include that or just the permit signs? Uh, I've got it's listed. Yeah. Is it listed? Yeah. Two yeah. lights on it. You want to okay, yeah, they got it. Yeah, then two and then new. We have one more stop. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, we're, a lot really, of we need to post stuff. those for a little while and then keep them up for a little while just so people get used to making that stop. Yeah. Then what you can do is take those signs out and put them in storage and we do it again and we can put them up again. Yeah. 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 And the bid was based off David's uh, design. So you want to do it? I move we accept it. For Michelle, you want to second that? I oh, read it. Oh, read it. I do. Yes. <laughs> Let her do it. Let her do it. All right. All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Will you? Yes. Aye. Yes. Uh, let's see. So that takes us to the attorney. Okay, we're taking care of all three items. <laughs> okay. Did we do the golf cart thing? We'll take it just the table then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. What is the golf cart thing? Can we just get rid of that? Or what is it? No, no, no right. Oh, oh, you can regulate golf cart. Oh, I see. I need room. Yeah, a lot of the kids driving nice. Okay, and then uh, the K's uh, monument wall le uh, license agreement, the one side, it sounds like it's Yeah, I think we're going to take that off. Uh, well, you've got two sides. Is it two agreements? Yeah, yeah, there's two agreements. I've heard nothing back from Mr. Sanchez. No, Mr. Sanchez is just the Yeah, he didn't tell us this. He says you don't need it. Mr. Mickey. Yeah. He's redoing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just that inside. It's Steve's, the other side. Yeah. Are we going to? Are we going to do anything or no? Well, the answer, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going yeah. to do anything? I mean, are we going? Are you going to sign the agreement that let us paint it? That's all. No. no. Okay. okay. So take, take, it take, it it take it off. Take it off. Yeah. Take it off. That's all I need. Okay. Rest Parcel is, thirteen, uh, we covered. Yeah. Uh, that puts us to pond aeration. Uh, yeah. 
And uh, this is for all three ponds. The expensive part is to get the electric <coughs> yeah. And uh, it's the aerators aren't good for your ponds. They put dissolved oxygen in them, and, and uh, that's probably the best thing, maybe other than the torals. Um, I'm the one that brought it up, and I, you know, it's 20 grand to, to do the, the aeration and the and the electric too, but yeah. But it's three we got, we got we got green water, dude. It's big yeah. time green yeah. water. We need to do something. We can't let it sit like that all the time. That's not good. So I'm I agree. Of. I agree. Hey, I have a question and I don't know the answer to it, but um does a fountain does a fountain aerate? Because the no. fountain would be prettier and um the Orchid Cove fountain costs twenty five hundred dollars. The one we have in our pond, but we also we started with aerators and then we got the fountain for beautify. Oh, what? What? Why did you leave the aerators? The Same I reason think. as we're getting the aerators, and we could get the aerators without um, homeowner approval, and the other one had to go to get a fountain, which is a change. We had to have a vote, but we didn't have to have a vote for the aerator. So that's why they went with the aerator initially, but then we wanted to beautify. So I don't know if, an, if a fountain would, I mean, I, I think it would be very pretty. Um, and if it would accomplish the same goal, the cost would be approximately the same because we paid 2,500, what was that, two years ago, Ray? I don't remember, oh. or Joyce, if you're there. I don't know, but um, you know, so it would be, the same as those aerators are on that quote. Aren't the aerators still in there? Yeah. So they're both in there, Michelle. The aerators are in there also. There's two aerators and the fountain. Yeah. So you right. do need the aerator. You need the aerator. Clean. Yeah. Yeah. Mom will say. Okay. I'm done. Oh. Go back to that. <laughs> the fountain does the aeration. No, no. You need to get the oxygen bubbled yeah. into the. To yeah, green I mean, to get rid of it. Yeah, the aerators are in there as well. They're on a time. Are your fountains close to the residence? There's just one in it, kind of. Because yeah. I think on page feet. drive, they're close to the residence. Uh, it's in the middle retention. I'll make it easy. I, I move we approve both contracts. One for the aeration, aeration yeah. and the other for the electric. Oh, the electrics for this? Yeah, the I make a I make a motion to approve the aerators and the electric. Well, I'll let you do it. Okay, right, Sam second Wait, that. Yeah, what's the total cost for three pints? Twenty uh, grand. Twenty grand for for the water. I mean for the electric and the aerage. Not a happy camper. I drive by every day, but I Still another twenty grand, man. I just spending money like you no know, tomorrow. I, I don't know. Well, something's got to be done, right? And this, I, I, I just think it needs to be done. It, as I said, it's it's algae there. That's what it is. It it needs aeration, and if you don't do it, it's just going to look like a mess all the time. I've been here sixteen years. It hasn't looked any different in sixteen years. Oh. I've been here twenty. It looks different. It does. All right, vote. 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 Yeah. We're going to vote. Yep. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four ayes, one nay. Right. Hmm? I said you can refer to it as the same as your area. You're going to take care of it. Send Jim there with Alfie. <laughs> Yeah, they'll live longer, right? Yeah. All right. What about <coughs> you had something here about we have three uh, Sterling Fish? Yeah. yeah. Discussion. A supervisor's request and comments. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Well, you put them under new business. It's under no, new, uh, new business. Oh, new business. All right. Pond area is right. Go ahead. The next one is um, the discussion Sterling okay. Fish had on next door about. He wanted us, and he sent us an, uh, a request, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he did. Yeah, uh, that we 
reevaluate or basically slow down the um, the purchase of parcel 13. I just want to bring that out that there's nothing to slow down. It's signed. It's a signed deal. It's done. So we we're not going to rediscuss it. There was one other thing. Uh, that he brought up, and I, I'm glad he did it. I'm glad he did that survey, that poll. Uh, I'm glad he took the initiative to do it. It needed to be done, but there's something we had to look at, that we had to look at 16 months ago. If you look at the cover sheet of next door, tomorrow morning, there are 954 people looking at next door. That's a lot, almost a thousand people. When you take out any duplicate comments or discussion on the poll that he did, which was a good little poll, it was less than 3% of the population. And it sat up there for at least a couple of weeks, a fair amount of time. So that's how we had to look at it. And it was only, oh, I, I said it was going to be 10%. It was less than 3%. And we have, the one thing that's making me crazy is we were all elected by the majority of the people who vote here. We were elected to do this job and to represent them, the majority. And it's ridiculous what we're being subjected to. And inexcusable. We were elected. We did all this stuff. We did the workshop. We did all of it. And everybody was asleep until you know what? Oh, the hotel sold. And then we have a guy from Colorado that buys the land. Oh, he'll never pay that. But he did. And we're trying to do the best we can for this district. And we're not here for your personal entertainment. That's all I think. I, I, well, uh, just another another thing that along the same lines, we um, people don't think we actually listen to comments on next door. Most of us read it. Uh, we're not going to comment on it mainly because the place to comment is right here. When you're when you are, you know recorded and it's part of the deal but that's this is how, where we make our comments but we did listen i mean we didn't put an rv park in there they didn't want it, nobody wanted an rv park it's not going anywhere and the one thing we wanted to make sure of was green space we got green space so we do listen but guess what we have to do what we think is best for everybody and it may not be your personal idea that that's what we want to do, but trust us, we're doing what we think is best for the for Port of the Island. And that's what we're doing. So we do listen. We're we're not the idea that this board is not transparent is ridiculous. Here's what a trans a non-transparent board looks like. You have a three-hour meeting and you're done in an hour and a half. That's a non-transparent parent board. A transparent board and actually a translucent board is you have a three hour meeting and you're still here at six hours. That's a transparent board and that's us. We're not only transparent, we're translucent. You can look right at me. Can I just add one thing to that? If, if you read a board member, nothing is official unless the board votes. The one board member to say something does not mean that's the entire board. It's it's more like a personal response. That's how they feel or whatever. So it's all. Can we go to the next? Yeah. Next one. Uh, Joe's um, uh, poll on the uh, to dissolve the CID. Now, so that's going to require a quick request from our attorney. How difficult is it? To, can a board, can the, I, I'm pretty sure reading what I read that 
we can, as a board, dissolve the CID if we vote to dissolve the CID. But I don't believe there can be a referendum to dissolve the CID. Well, first of all, the board itself does not have the ability to dissolve. Uh, Florida statutes, the charter, the charter for the community development district is 190 Florida statutes. Chapter 373 Florida statutes deals with the water management. It's like South Florida, Southwest Florida, North Florida, North Florida. That has nothing to do with community development. Uh, so they have 190. 190 is a section called 190.046, and it's termed it's termination, contraction, or expansion of the district. If you go down to subsection 5, 6, and 7, go, actually from 5 to 10, it talks about ways in which the powers of the CED the functions can be transferred to the government or the district is on. Just, I'll just be part of this. One is if the local general purpose government, which is County or county adopts a non emergency ordinance providing for a plan for the transfer of a specific community development service from a district to the county. I doubt it if that's ever going to happen. But the county's plan must provide for the assumption and guarantee of the district debt that is related to the service by the local, by the local general purpose government and must demonstrate the ability, in this case, of the county to provide such service. As efficiently as the CDD at a level of quality equal to or higher than the level of quality actually delivered by the CDD to the users, and a charge equal to or lower than the actual charge by the CDD to the users. So that's county initiative. And if the county was to initiate that, the board of supervisors of the district can challenge that. If they have the ability, they can go into court within 30 days after the county adopts that transfer plan. Uh, they can seek review by the factual and legal basis of the adoption of the county's transfer by ordinance against county initiative. Uh, if, if, upon the transfer of all of the community development services of the CDD to the county, the district shall be terminated with the plan of termination, which is adopted by the board of supervisors. So it takes both the county, then Another way of uh, terminating it is dissolving a district is in five years, nothing happens. If it's enacted, but the last point is if the district has, and this is there's a couple cases, if the district has no outstanding financial obligations and no operating or maintenance responsibilities, upon the condition of the district, the district may be dissolved by a non emergency ordinance of the county. And there were a couple examples tossed around about Artesia and Capricola. Uh, provide a copy to everybody wants. I paid copies, didn't copy Mr. Jensen or Tisa. Tisha had basically they had a master association that took over all responsibilities with all of their financial obligations. Copper Code had nothing. Copper Code had a management contract, a legal services contract, and they said we can't do all those. And so, again, the district has no outstanding financial obligations and no operating or maintenance responsibilities. And you do, you got a utility facility, you got a stroller management facility, you have roads. It's very so it's basically the answer is no. Well, it happens, but you have to get the county to agree. Yeah, exactly. They're not doing it. So that you know, that's and I know that the board is not in favor of this all. We all think that that the CID provides something good for the community, not not bad. I I'm just not but I wanted to bring that up because Joe, you you put it on uh, you know on the next door, and you know I just want people to know we're not in favor, and it's, it would be extremely difficult. It's not like if you just vote it down. Not quite yet. In an example, as an example, you may remember a few months ago I went to the uh, he brought up. Let's give the county the uh, water plant. Let's see if they'll take it over because it's too big for us now. And I asked Rick LaCastro for a meeting. He had everybody there that had anything to do with it. And the first thing that surprised me was every single person I talked to, starting with him, sitting right here was, I don't want the government running our water plant. And I heard it from everybody. I, I said, but what if it saves us a lot of money? I don't care. 
we don't want to be like Marco Island. Everybody I talked to was death on. So we went anyway because I had to find out. Dave was there, Tony was there. I wasn't there five minutes. And they looked at me and said, there is no way in hell this will ever happen. So forget it. Just like that. I said, but, but, there's no buts. We don't want it. We don't want anything to do with it. You have death. It's a monster. We don't want it. Forget it. We'll help you. They haven't done that yet either, by the way. But it's out of the question. So if anybody thinks you're going to talk all your county into taking the whole thing over, get your crap from someone else. Go ahead. Get rid of So the so reply will only be 138 over J. The reply to your first question was poll. It's a sample poll. Right. So it's three to one. And when you do any polling, they do sample. They don't poll everybody. So that is a pretty large yes to dissolve the CID. Secondly, we didn't talk about your poll. But your no. poll was less than 3% of the population. But it's still it's a sample poll. They're never a hundred percent. It was less than three percent. But statistics say that's not a good sample. Right. The next, uh, it can be done. Correct. It has been done in the past, and I've spoken to people in the county that it can be resolved. When you requested for them to take over the water treatments, of course they're not going to want to take only that over. But if they have to take over our community, they have to take over that as well. But you give them the question. Are you just going to take over the water treatment plant? The answer will be no. CIDs, CDDs, the government loves it because they can collect taxes on us and they don't have to do any maintenance on, on, on our communities. They don't have to do the roads, they don't have to take care of the, uh, the infrastructure, the water treatment, or anything like that. But to answer your question, yes, it, it is possible. And I'm requesting, and I don't know the answer, I live in this community. Why don't we see? What's better for the community? What will cost us less? Is it better to have a CID? Is it better to have a quality county take care of us? And get an independent study done and then put that out there. If they if the study independently is fair and they say, no way, CIDs are great, I'm all for it. I live here as well. But why don't we take that up and see what is the best? And as you see on next door. I think a, people, a lot of people are agreeing that way. Our infrastructure, they're getting old. We're going to need a lot of money. You guys keep saying it. Now we're borrowing money. That is something for sure, like the attorney just said. We are in debt. We have a loan. Forget it. We cannot apply to solve the CID. We have to pay us. We owe any money. But we're in debt. We've been in debt for years. Borrowing money is not the same as. Uh, yeah, but that, it's not just that. Yeah, but what? First of all, Mr. Levy, you're. I would suggest you read the statute. Yeah. The statute, and you can't paraphrase the statute, the statute's very clear. If the district has no outstanding financial obligation contracts <coughs> and no operating or maintenance responsibility, which the district has, then the pot of petition that may be dissolved by non groups but then you have to make arrangements for who's trying to operate the facility, and that would be Cuyahoga County. And then and then the Cuyahoga County would be Captain. Willing to take that, so you're saying the government's like to provide services, the entire county would be providing the services. But a lot of, a lot of, if they, if they want, in addition, there's a separate statute that talks about how you handle it, you're going to sell the convey a one or two of the That's why the first sentence says that, the thing you put on next door. That's what it says, the first sentence. Uh, we come under both of those things. But a lot of developers, it's the developers that. That form the CID and CDD in order to get bonds. And then they, they hand them bonds. to the homeowners. Okay? And then what the homeowners do, cases of clubhouses or, uh, or uh, common areas, they organize an HOA. The HOA pays for those services and then everything goes to the CID. So that's what case, happened here. In our case, exactly that's what happened here. In our case, then water treatment and all those stuff, we can keep our HOA, have, have an HOA for the community and let the community. Let the county take care of 
of our infrastructure like they do for just about everybody else on project. But it takes a special legislative session. They're not going to take it. I don't know about that. Oh. Well, let, let me just interject something. Collier County <clears throat> took over the fire district, the firehouse. And the agreement was, it's interlocal agreement, and the agreement was that we would pay the same, what's that rate they charge you? Millage rate no, no. as the rest of the county. Try four years later, we're still at four millage rate and the county's at one. So it doesn't happen. They don't want to do it. They, their, their feeling totally is, yeah, their feeling is the residents in the rest of Cuyahoga County don't want to pick up the cost of us. Where is so it, it hasn't happened. So That's four years. Where is it going to stop? Now we're it's borrowing not. money. Now we're going to have to raise assessments. We're a not community of 900. All right, what, happen, all what happens to the three million when you sell the land? That goes to Cuyahoga County. Not if we sell it and we give the practical tax credit before we, uh, before we give it. <laughs> oh, well, why not? That's three million dollars. Because it's for the whole county to use, not just right. for us. <laughs> so, okay, so then where do we end? Where do does it stop? So we just keep raising assessments. And not raising assessments. Well, if you're going to do it probably next year. Oh, year. probably yeah. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Well, there it is again. We might be maybe. You're not borrowing money. You just Joe, I got to tell you something. Right. That's how you write. You write half truth. You yeah. know. Well, maybe this. I'm going to give you an example. You put on next door. There are several lawsuits against them right now. One and two. One of them's your business partner over there. And the other one, hey, is, and the other one is prep. It's from four years ago. That's not simple. Okay. What's two? That? Well, it's, it's not a fact. Two? Yeah, two lawsuits. That's not it's simple. Not a, it's not president. Probably we haven't had lawsuits before. Now we, we have not. lawsuits. Yeah. Lawsuits that we're, we're, we're have to defend. And then we have our attorneys defending and paying, our CIP paying uh, attorney fees. We were two. We were two. We were private contract. We were sued. No, you weren't. They tried a contract. Well. No, we were sued. Yes, yeah, so, but our I am. is paying uh, the, uh, the legal fees for private contract. You're not. Did you see that fall as well? You're not. Yeah. We're not. You didn't vote that? He is you our. You vote that our attorney is paying for legal fees for a private contractor that the CID votes. You're telling me you did not vote for that? I, I, I'm so confused. I, I have two. You're not, you're not paying for the, we're not paying for the attorney fees for, um, no. The CID is paying our legal fees to represent the district and the custodian of public property. Right. Right. Custodian, exactly. It's yeah. appropriate. It's appropriate. That's a right. right. Yeah. We were so, sued along with him. Yeah, so pay your, <coughs> that's fine, but pay the private contract. That's not what the suit, not, that's, not the suit. Suit. that's not how the suit read. Yeah. We're still paying it. The suit yeah. is against yeah. us and to Mr. Custodian. We got this for us. us. I would suggest, yeah, litigation matter. Okay. Thank you. The next, my next request was um, for the uh, YouTube. YouTube. If we could, you know, drop off the ones so that we, you know, I think you're only allowed a year. That <laughs> well, no, no, we could. You know, YouTube will let it go however long. The service provider that we use for uh, the recording of the meetings, uh, they store them for a year. When somebody wants to see them, we send them the link. Right now, we can put them yeah. all on YouTube right after they're done. I, you know, that's just well, uh, I thought that's what we were doing. Yeah, no, I know. If we're not no, doing it, let's, let's do it because I it's important yeah. for, for a couple things. Number one, people, people can are, go back and yeah. look at them. Number two, we can go back and yeah. look at them so that we go, What did I say? You know, with that kind of thing. Well, so I'm, 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 how I felt. Well, <laughs> So I'm, if you need a motion, I will move okay. that we yeah, I, I we don't place on YouTube. I don't think soon. there's any expense to that because there is it now. So yeah, but uh, yeah, you guys want to do it? That would work. Yeah, well. please. Yeah. And I think that's all I added on to the new I'm sorry for adding. That's all good. We've got. Oh, okay. So any. That was all new business. Yeah, uh, that was new business. So any supervisor comments? Michelle? Yes, I still um, need follow up on the Stella Maris Bright Light. 
Oh, yes, yes. What happened? Remember the light we talked about? We we're going to talk to LCDC and see if they could put a a blocker. Yeah, the LC, they haven't agreed to do anything. LCDC. Well, who? They'll take your money. Is someone contacting them now? I mean, what are we doing? Yeah, if they did. can't do it, can can we do it? No. A resident? Or no, the, 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 I don't think we can do it because no, it's their life. It's, it's their it's life. Their life. It's easy, like, if nothing else, so that it's not, if you look at the light, I looked at it yet the other day because that LCEC was here and I asked them, well, by the way, did you go in? And they went, no, no. <laughs> of course. But um, it's kind of canted towards Stellamaris North. And I'm right. sure that's why the gentleman sees it. If they could at least come in and can it towards my my group, because nobody <laughs> complains about it on, on my group, but it's, we've heard it from a couple people at Stella Maris North as far as right. I like. Okay, okay. so, so yeah. can someone do that, please? Is that my home by the district by LCEC? It's LCEC. What about the lights on the streets? Yeah. Can you do that? They're the same thing. Yes. Well, I've, I've called them and they actually blocked out one light the way it was shining into the home. Yeah, we haven't been able to be inspired. Yeah, this was years ago, though. Yeah, it's, it is a public. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a very, it's very, it's like, the very end of Spellmare Drive Sound. It's the one right in the middle. And that's the one. And if you look at it, it's kind of canned like this, which is towards Spellmare Drive Store. <laughs> Next door, so Okay, you could send me the information. Contact the LCE to do it. Okay, yeah. so we can Great. Uh, can't guarantee anything, but I'm sure. Uh, the other thing, they made the lights on my street. They only light up when you go under them, and they're yellow. Hmm. No, they're probably high pressure sodium. High pressure sodium yeah, too. So they you they know, yellow them. light. Your yeah. You know, your others are more like a, a blue light. Yeah. I'm I'm surprised they don't have a program out here to start replacing it with LED. They were, uh, they yeah. had the guy that was there the day that I asked if we could do that, they were replacing one of ours with LED. So maybe they're starting, I don't know. That FPL's doing a whole program where we're basically, they, they went into the springs and basically replaced all the lights with LED. They, they did a couple of our communities too. We found LC is different than FP. Yeah. Right. Any other, nothing else from the supervisor? Just the um the spraying. I think you know, somebody working on that sprayer because the mosquitoes are starting to come. Uh yeah. Uh, uh, Mitch yeah. replaced the battery. That's all I knew was wrong with it. So, well, but well, I didn't know if it was just the battery. I mean, like I took they had to keep recharging it, so we could get a trickle charge or something yeah. because um it would only go to sixty percent. And then this last time I uh, tried to spray. And uh, it basically shut down and stopped spraying. That's why we pulled it out of the unit and tried spraying it during the afternoon to see what was going on. But supposedly, if it doesn't have enough power, then the pump doesn't pump. It has to have a certain amount of juice so the pump doesn't. But, but the, but the uh, you can see the air bubble in the line. It wasn't it wasn't sucking it out. So I mean, I guess we should, I'll try it. Mitch try it. is, uh, you know, he was going to put a new battery in it. Right. But uh, I mean, we just replaced the battery. Yeah, that's why I think if you put it. What charges it though? What charges the battery? See, I think it's got a fault in some place. It's got a, it's got a short in some place or something. Does it back into the truck? When we didn't, yeah. when we didn't spray there for almost two weeks because it was nothing, and uh, it it went dead, and then in a week again it goes dead. So it's, I don't know why it's discharged. Is there something that recharges the battery? I don't know if it's got an alternator on it or anything. I don't know. It's it's weird. But as soon as that power and that battery starts going down, we're starting to have some problems. So we need to look at it. So we all yep. know. But trickle it's charge. Just the mosquitoes are out there. E even even a, a solar trickle charge isn't working. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. uh, especially if, nothing's you, charging. if you're going to put it outside, you know, we could run something through that container or something. Maybe put a solar trickle charge on it or something. Is it closer to a regular where you can yeah. the regular 110? Yeah, well, I got one of those fast charges. It goes oh, yeah. like two minutes, but it would only bring it up to 60%. The first time it went up to 80% and ran fine. Then I put it up to 60% and I put it on three times. It was a second. Cell being bad. 
Yeah. You can only charge. But they don't last. They, they replace that battery. It's not times. getting charged. It's, by it. it's not. Yeah, it's not recharging itself. Yeah, it's not yeah. recharging. And there's no way to reach. There's no under ten close to it to. Well, we were talking there. about that earlier. That if we put the container out there, that Mitch would be able to run a one ten circuit out there. <laughs> yeah. That we can go ahead and put a trickle charger on it. I mean, we might want to get one now. Yeah. I mean, trickle charger. We. Uh -huh. I mean, Chad could buy it, just bill you for it if you want. So I think they should. 10, yeah. 20 bucks is what. But get a new battery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Much. yeah, get a new battery. Yeah, that's put a trickle Or maybe if we trickle charge it for a while, maybe it'll go up. I don't know. But you said you put a new battery in it? Yeah, I believe yeah. you did that. Does the remote trigger work? No. Does it ever work? No. <laughs> it, it's because it's all cords and what lines. You got to put the thing inside. I've only had, well, I told you people used to take pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I would stop, I would stop, get out, turn it off, go past them, get out, start it up again. And the only reason I'm helping spray is because the price of gas has gone up so much. And it's just, you know. But that's why we got that thing, because somebody complained about getting hit. So yeah. the remote was to shut it off. Maybe go, going a little later, trying to, you know, keep them happy. Don't try yeah. to stay out in here after <laughs> nine or nine thirty. Okay. Any other comments? It's two thirty. Must be time. No. no. Audience. Audience. Two thirty. Audience. Two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. Steve Mac to me one thirty four. We were okay. I'm curious. Maybe this is a question or comment for you. I've sat in these meetings multiple times. Facts are being put out about me. Such so just happened with Joe that I am his business partner. I've somehow been in business with him. It's a flat out falsehood. But these things are being put out there on the website that are not true. Like, oh, Steve sold this land to um, Brian Jones, and Steve's putting in a gas station and all this stuff. But it's stated as fact, as well as being put into next door, and and the word fact behind it. Is there any way to into that? You're not my client. Any advice I give to my board and mm -hmm. support, I'm not going to have to touch it. You said you're going to be gas station. Yeah, we have the drawings on it. No, 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 no. You gave us the drawings on it. I heard that was, I, you know, here's the thing. You gave us the drawing of it. Listen. Listen to me now. I'm not debating you. I want to speak. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So the man, when I brought in those those drawings in the last page, was that thing with the gas station on it? I made it very clear. This is what another guy who wanted to buy the property. Who was Brian Jones? Right. Let him finish. Go ahead, Steve. I said, and there was a person here who was looking at building on this property. This is what he was proposing, not me, him, that also that had fallen through, but I gave you that as an example of what could have been put in there. That's how I said it. I never said ever that I was gonna put a gas station. In. No, and so you did. I'm the you one said that it said minutes it. ago. If you gave us the drawing with the plans, and it was at pre, it was at pre-approval with the county. He found Brian Jones's name on the list, on the sign-up list. That's how we knew. And you said this is what could happen. You said you had a deal with him for a hundred grand more. You were standing right there. Okay, so you had a deal with him that fell through, and he was going to put in a little 7-Eleven gas station. Can you tone it down just a little bit? Yeah. Don't go throwing that. I've got the picture, and that's where it came from, and it was public record. You want the liability? I'll show you the liability. It was right there. Public record. Go back and watch the meeting. I don't have to watch it. You were there. I was there. All right. That's it. That's it. And as far as next door, I'm a little confused because none of us are on next door. Yeah. Some things are being said. I don't. I don't know why it's coming back. And it's because you and him said you really shouldn't be on next door. So you know what? I get off of it. I haven't been on next door in months. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my question to the board is still. Yep. For I just don't understand why it's, it's um, acceptable to have people screaming at people, calling them names and that sort of thing because they can't control their temper. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. No respect. I know how that feels. All right, all right, Greg. All right. Okay, any other comments? Yep. Um, just a couple of clarifications from the meeting today. Um, so, and maybe I'm confused, or maybe I didn't hear all the comments about the CID board being involved in a dock for one of the homes that's being built. The swale was the swale. It's the swale is not sitting in the dock. Yeah, because my understanding, and I want to get it on record, my understanding is, you know, we plan on 289Ks to build some, uh, not docks, we plan to build some <coughs> boat access, other than county and other than Army Corps of Engineers, the CID has no input as to what could go in the water. If you're going to put a dock there, I believe Southwest Florida will have because when we went and redid our docks, one of the permitting was Southwest, the South, not Southwest, South Florida South Water, Water District. Understood, yeah. but specific to the CID. I would suggest that you review the plat information and make sure there's no dedicated easements. I have. Yeah. So we already have. Architects and engineers working on the property. Um, so I just I, I just want to get it over. Additionally, what I've like on record is I was heard about the ERCs, and it was stated earlier today that I'm sorry, Mr. Case, case, Mr. Case offered and ex and the board accepted his offer for ERCs that was well above what the normal ERCs were right. going for, right? I just want to make sure that is it your understanding that that resets the cost of ERC based on what he offered and you accepted? Or is it by me? Because a couple of things. It is truly, um, it seems that even though there are written covenants around, maybe covenants are right, not the right word, around ERCs, what they cost and how many you need, and I've asked for clarification, and I've reached out to you three times, and I've received no response. I'm and sure, I can I'm show you the text. Please do. Well, I, I, don't, I don't make some of those mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. Right. Well, you responded, and you said, "I'll call you right back." Oh, I was in a meeting. So. Sure, but then I never heard back. So, I believe I know what the requirements are and what I need in your seats. But if, what I don't want is it seems that the CID board has control over your seats, and that is, to be quite honest. The only thing you have control over, right? As, as far as zoning, as far as what can be put on land, it's the cop, it's the county. Right. That's right. That's it. That's right. So what I want to make sure is that it's not arbitrary and draconian as far as how you manage ERCs. It's got it's written. This is how many you need. This is how many, this is how much it costs. To obtain ERCs, and that that can't change just arbitrarily at your disposal. Well, question. Yes, sir. The, yeah. the um, it's written that we control the ERCs and that we sell the ERCs, but the amount that was in the original we just went through for the zoning, what was the, the uh, rules and regs or what is it? Yeah. Rules. Yeah. yeah. We took the amount out. There is no, there is no, no amount. set amount for ERCs. So, so that the ERCs are sold at whatever this board decides the price is. 
So then again, it's completely arbitrary that the five people on the board decide what an ERC is worth. <coughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. It's not arbitrary. So, what do you mean it's not arbitrary? I think you make a reasoned decision based upon the number of factors. That's not before them today. Okay. Um, so that's a whole other situation that has to be addressed because, you know, the fact that Mr. Case offered 20 grand per year to, quite frankly, what I believe to be sort of a, an incentive to accept his offer for the land, because he offered $20,000 per year then all of a sudden we arbitrarily took out what the cost per ERC is, and now it's just up in the air. And then depending on somebody who needs ERCs, this board is going to set the price. Is that what I'm understanding? Or is it just where I'm set the price? That's right now, and you'll recall when we talked about the agreement, set, set, it said by accepting this, this is the price. Right. But I mean the board can change that at any time. I think so. But right now it's at 16,000. 16 and right 4. But it's actually, it's not. It's 16. It's, no. uh, it's 16. 16. Probably it's not. You accepted that from him, but now you've taken it out, the dollars. So now, today, in theory, it's 16 and 4. Tomorrow it will be 30 and 5. Because you've taken out the amount. Is that not correct? I don't understand what you mean. There's no set amount. There's no set amount. You guys, in the rules, which you guys, again, arbitrarily just changed, there's no, there's no amount. You've taken the amount out. So, again, at your discretion, that he paid 16 and 4, you guys are all saying that's the number now. No, I think what Kelt was saying, that was the number for that transaction. Right. Each transaction is unique. Yes. Right. And if somebody calls me and says, what's in the RC, I'm going to say 16,000. Right. So then it's not. You shouldn't no, say, it's not you shouldn't say that. You shouldn't well, say that. Because there's no number. But the last sale was 16. There's no number. Yeah, I, you, you can't just go and leave it zero. And it's whatever. CBA. Um, no, but, but, but you guys are telling me that it is. I'm sorry, yeah. you guys are telling me that it is what the board says. So the, the rules were changed to say that the value of the, the district plan, yeah. the ERC, is averaged by the board. That's correct. It, right. So it, it could it, change. It, 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 yeah, that's correct. It, it could change. In the discretion of the yeah. board. It could be it, public. It could be uh, public. I don't know if you want to say that it's going to blow up. Maybe if you're bringing value to the district, maybe. The board says it's 10 or it's five. Right. What I'm saying is, I just want to be clear right now, based on what you're telling me, it's arbitrary. No, it's not. You, no, I'm not telling you that. I said it's within the discretion of the board and to be a reasonable discretion exercised by the board. That's, arbitrary. Is, that's arbitrary. No, sir, it's not. I mean, you guys can make a decision. No, reasonable discretion of the board is not arbitrary. They're completely different opposite ends of the spectrum. Okay. I think what he's saying, we, you know, I you know what he's saying. That's, that's, yeah. but you guys can set the price on whatever you want it to set. No, sir. Reason what do you mean? Well, the board. But what's right? I don't want to engage in a debate with this person on the staff. And I think it's said within the discretion. But I know one I time residents reason. were selling their own. And part of the time, right? Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the situation yeah. with, with Mr. Case was unique because that was a way to structure a transaction. Yeah, of course. Right. Excuse me. That's what I'm saying. saying. Okay, yeah. that's my board. Yeah. The board, you, you, and you can argue what you want to argue. The fact of the matter is, not the fact that it's at the discretion of the board means it's arbitrary. Madam Chair, no, but, but I'm not. Yeah. Well, you might be just finished. Uh, again, that was part of a transaction where there was a number of factors that came into play as to what the value of the utility actually was established. Yeah. But I recall in the past, you as an owner could sell an ERC. We don't tell you what value. Uh, up, up, up to a few months ago, I did not own any ERC. Yeah. So right, but JC in the past, in the past, mm -hmm. ERCs like the value of them come and go. Yeah. And there was a time when, like Bruce Holacek, right? 
he paid ten million dollars yeah. for this parcel 13 sure. and he thought the ERCs were worth like crazy money apiece absolutely and then most recently in the past four or five years don't even thought about it so you're right like, I don't know if arbitrary is the right word but the variable that's right it is okay okay what I want to make sure and let's not worry about the price of the years. Yes. What I want to make sure that it is written is the amount of ERCs that are required depending on what you are developing. And my understanding is that that is written and it is fact and it has not changed. And I have yet to see what is required for ERC. I mean, what, I'm sorry. What ERCs are required depending on what you're building. I got some anecdotal information that you can open a restaurant at least 0.2 ERCs per seat, and then 0.2 ERCs in one ERC is five. So then if you want to open, if you want to put 50 seats in, yeah, that's, that's it's right. okay. So I have yet to see that. I'm looking for it, I can't find it. That's why it's out the rules. It's, it's in the rules. rules. But how does yeah. it yeah. That's why you reach out to get that information. How does he just see it? Uh, for, uh, for, for, it's like, for the, the old rules, the old rules and the rules and has changed. Yeah. Right, but he, he wants to see that, like a schedule. He wants to see the schedule. He's reciting. He wants to see it. And then maybe the confusion, you want to see something per acre or whatever. You want to see what kind of cost so, But the only way you can tell if you've got plans, Give it to this man, and this is what it says in the rules, and he'll look at what your utility needs are, and he'll assign a, a the number of ERCs that you need. Okay, but, but wait a minute. I'm sorry. What you just said is very different. If there is a schedule of the amount of ERCs that you need, depending on what you're developing, correct, mm -hmm. then that can translate. And it should be that's what it is. It's written. It's not his opinion. Everything that's no. everything that's already in this community. Yeah. Hotels, marina, buildings. It's something like everything this. that's an established no, 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 no. They are there. Absolutely. So unless you're that's building right. something completely different, understood. then he yeah. would get involved. Otherwise, the schedule is there. Okay. So, by the way, you're not listening to me, but that is thank you, Russell, because that is actually accurate. If there is a schedule of the year of seats that you need based on what you're building, right? Then right. you're staying within the parameters of that schedule. Yeah. There's absolutely no reason for an engineer to give his opinion as to how many year of seats you need. Is that fair? If, if it's, is that fair? It's comparable, if within the parameters. It's, yeah. it's comparable to everything we already have here. You would have absolutely. to have some, a different, like if it was a gas station, okay, then that'd be different. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. But what I don't want to, I, this, it's really hard for somebody who lives here to bring value to the community when there's so much ambiguity about these ERCs. So let's be transparent. Tell me what the costs are. Tell me what I need. And if I decide to move forward, great. And if I decide not to, but I can't make a decision with ambiguity. That's what I'm saying. And then you guys need to understand that there are dollars involved in architectural fees, in engineering fees, that we put something out there, and then all of a sudden I hand it over, which other than the ERCs, I don't need to hand over, but I'm, I will gladly do it, because I'm gonna be a good neighbor. I'll gladly do it, but then somebody every time goes, you know what, JC, you got 18 ERCs, you need 35. And by the way, the cost, let's see guys, uh, it's 10 grand today. That's, that's not okay. We can't operate that way. And then the board, you cannot operate that way. No, but there is a schedule. How can we give it to them? Just like it's on the website. It's on the website. Oh, yeah. There actually is a schedule. I looked for it. I can't find it. Well, it's, it's in the rules. Uh, no, can we, can we, can we I'll just send you the schedule. Yeah. Send it to me. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do my email right now? Uh, you seem to, you have my cell phone, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll send it to me. Okay. Yeah. And then just, one housekeeping item, and I apologize. This is my second board meeting. The first one I was only here for a few minutes. 
um, come on multiple company boards. Just from a housekeeping perspective, two things. If you need to have an executive session, either have it in before the board meeting or at the end, because it's really disrespectful of people's time that you tell them to leave for an hour and a half and come back. That's not right. And then for this type of board, the vernacular is really important to me, and we refer to <clears throat> us as they. That really creates this, and maybe that's where the issue is. Listen, we got to be collaborative, right? We're all neighbors. So when you refer to residents that come to a board meeting as they, it creates a separation, and that's just not the right vernacular to use. It's us, and it's we. Just right. really house cleaning. I apologize, but. And again, don't send us out because that's just not this, that's <coughs> disrespectful of our time. And that's not the way it should operate. They were actually scheduled for the end, and you're right. They were scheduled for the end, but because we're paying them, that's how they did. But you're right. They were scheduled to be at 12 o'clock. So schedule them in the beginning and pay them in the beginning. Right. That's right. My opinion. Thank you. Yes, Jeff. Building 138, we can. I'd like a clarification. Uh, earlier, you uh, said that maybe uh, CID should take over all of the um, all of the uh, storm sewer, all of the uh, water system for the port. Uh, I know that some communities in our in our district. Uh, have illegal culverts and stuff like that. And I'd like to know clarification on if the board does assume this in some of the communities, are they now going to be responsible or is CDI going to be responsible to replace them if code enforcement says they have to do it? Who's the burden of cost? And again, seawall. Now, these seawalls on some of these communities are old by the CID assuming storm surge and uh, water treatment, do they now become the owner of these uh, seawalls? Because I do remember a case recently in Collier County when I think it was uh, water shop shops in the Venetian Village. Venetian Village that Collier County, we're not responsible, we're not responsible for the, for the seawall. Sure enough, they were. So that expense of the seawall that has to be replaced, is that going to come onto the burden of the CID as well? That's what I'm going to say right now. Stella Harris would be really happy to turn our seawall over to the, to the CID, but I don't believe I don't believe that has anything to do with storm order management, other than the fact that they that they have uh, some of the different places have. Uh, a culvert to go through them to allow the storm water to go out. I believe that was Collier County's argument too, and they were had to replace it. So that's I'd like to clarify really? on that. They were saying that that's that seawall doesn't belong to us. We're taking care of the storm and parking lot and everything else. But I think they ruled. Well, Stella Maris actually bought the seawall from the gentleman that owned it. Right. So I would suggest that. We own the seawall. But now CID is going to take care of all that. Uh, not unless they're with buying it from me. With, with exceptions. There were, we were talking about exceptions. But even, forget about the seawall, even any, any uh, inherited uh, deficiencies with code enforcement. Who becomes the burden of that now? Is it now that the CID has to replace all this stuff and get it to the code? Or is it the association? So that's. My question, and I'd like a clarification for you guys to think about it before you go ahead next meeting and vote on assuming more responsibility when admittedly you are saying that you neglected what we already own and what we already have. Now we're assuming more responsibility, more cost. I mean, that's that's my that's what I would have heard. First thing, I don't think we 
I don't think we I was not trying to fall far. Um, the the uh, CID is responsible, if I'm not mistaken, for the easements that uh, we're talking about the swales on all the four caves, because those are the problem jobs. It's the four caves. You don't have very much problem over in on Newport. Okay, you have it all on our side because we have the swales on all four. And the, the CID already is responsible for the easement, correct? And if there's any change or um, something that needs to be done to the easement, it's our responsibility to do that, correct? Uh, if the board accepts that. Well, I mean, I thought that it's, 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 it's your responsibility. It's your easement. Yeah. 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 Is it the uh, uh, Stella Mars Board Agreement or? No, 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 no. Just no. Right, just if, if, if you own an, if, 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 if a CID owns an easement or has an easement and has CID infrastructure payments, right? Then it depends. I have to look at the language of the plan. Sometimes there's dedication with responsibility for maintenance. Sometimes there's dedication without responsibility. Yeah, but well, he's so he's referring to the seawalls. Or I don't have a seawall. So does that make the CID responsible? No, he's, referring, he's referring to the riprap and everything. All yeah. over. All around the case, not just seawalls. But that's. But I'm also my 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 major concern is now we're you guys are considering assuming more responsibility for stormwater and communities that I understand it's not our responsibility and roads and other stuff that you guys are uh, are voting to assume responsibility for, which is going to add more cost to CID and some of these communities, which I know for a fact are code enforcement. Are, are, are uh, and have might or might not be have to be prepared, then now it's no longer the association's responsibility, it's the CID's responsibility. That's my major question, that's my major concern. Like, I could watch the roots with that seawall at uh, whatever. That's in the city of Naples. Yeah. yeah and, and, and then they were spent a few hundred thousand lawyer fees trying to fight it, and they ended up having to redo the seawall, and they said now they're going to do a uh, uh, rip wrap because it's cheaper, it's better for the environment, but it's, it's cheaper. And are we looking to get into the same type of situation? Well, that's why I bring this point up. Good point. We should look at it. We should look into that. We don't know. So, thank you. We don't know. Thank you. Yes, that is a good point. We're done. Three o'clock. Anybody else? Anybody else? Will we adjourn? 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 Will we that's something from the uh, hearing code or the county or something. Is that something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
or the yeah. fact that we cheer or more, I'm not sure what there was a bunch of old records in the Yeah. 